Have you ever thought of using a living tree for holiday decorating purposes? This is a beautiful Siberian spruce. And you know the beauty of the living tree is that they're worth as much the day after Christmas as the day you bought them. And of course these beautiful trees can also be used for years and years. So in addition to value, a second point is that they're less of a fire hazard in the home. And a third point is that you can use them outdoors as a living tree as a source of cut greens in future years. So the living tree has many, many advantages. And the greatest thing, I think, is that they're comparable with the prices of cut trees, too. Now, this is a gorgeous incense cedar, and so you get the great fragrance indoors. Pines also offer great fragrance. And we don't have any in this particular planting, but nevertheless, they're a great tree. Back behind me is a grand fir, and then this large one here is a beautiful alpine hemlock. Now, I'm a little bit hesitant to recommend soft needled trees to you. And remember, all of these living trees should only be kept in the home for about seven to 10 days, and then they should go back outside once again. And it's very important that when you take them indoors, that you put down a saucer first so that there's no chance of ruining the carpeting or linoleum in your home. And if you're concerned about it, tending to weight down your uh, carpeting, for example, if you'll put maybe about three or four marbles under the saucer, that'll hold it up and uh, there'll be an airspace in between. And that works out, I think, a lot better for most people. But the waterproof saucers are really important. Check the watering, by the way, on these trees daily. That's really important. Don't let them dry out while they're in the home. Now, here's the little Alberta spruce. And for anyone that lives in an apartment, this is an ideal tree. Actually, it's an ideal tree for anybody because it's so slow growing, it'll act as a living Christmas tree for many, many years. And basically, all you'll need to do is to occasionally repot it into a larger pot as it grows in size. So, you know, it'll give you a great value for you. Here's another nice tree. This is probably the most popular of all living and cut trees. This is the noble fir. And noble fir, usually as it develops, gets kind of a, a whitish tinge, not whitish, but silvery tips on them. It's really a pretty tree. The living trees are great trees for use in the home. Now, one other thing that I want you to keep in mind, that is if it's really cold the day after Christmas, and you're taking it out of the house, don't put it out in the outside. Put it into a garage or maybe the utility room until the weather moderates once again and then set it right outdoors. A living Christmas tree, a great value for you and beauty for years to come.